So we came across the baby woodpecker. This was a juvenile pileated woodpecker. The tree to which the woodpecker nest was in didn't support the weight of the nest anymore and it collapsed. All right, yeah, get The baby woodpecker fell to the ground and it needed to be relocated back into the tree. Shape. All right, come on. He's so the red healthy. stripes right there under his chin, you said that makes yeah, it a male? Yeah, that's, that's okay. male has that. And it'd just be white if it's a female. Grayish looking more. Grayish? Yeah, or, or white just like the just like the red feather. All right, he's good to go. The woodpecker was pretty mature. It actually was just about ready to fledge out of the nest and take flight for the first time. The mama and daddy woodpecker are on the limb right there. And I'm gonna mount the baby on this tree right here. See him flying like crazy. Both the mother and the father were flocking in the area around the woodpecker. We're gonna put the baby, oh, there it went. All right, let's get him up here for the mama and daddy to get to him. But we were able to identify it as still being in a nest because of the mother and father both tending to the young. There's the mama or the daddy. Now I did learn that the father or the male has the red stripe below the bill. So if I can get a good look, that's the male. There he goes, he's flying off now. There's the female flying over there. I can see him all on the tree horizon. So we made a makeshift nest because the original nest was no longer any good. We're on the third branch up. Right here looks like the perfect mounting position. You can hear the baby calling for the mama. So we'll put them right here. All right. We utilized the five gallon bucket and some rope to secure a five gallon bucket into the tree so the tree could be the new site of the bird's nest. That is how it's gonna look right there. The baby. All right, the rope's coming down. All right. After we installed the nest, the mother and father woodpecker came back and tended to the young for around a week. He's tying the rope to the base of the tree, stationary, so they can untie it. And when this bird has fledged out or left the nest, they can let this bucket back down so no other birds go up there and nest in it. After that, at some point or another, the bird finally fledged out of the nest and left. And we don't know what happened to it after that. All right, baby. I love you. Be good. See if the mommy comes. I can hear him making a lot of noise. Everyone wants to save the planet. I know we can do it. We, we are, are the many. many. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the colony. colony. Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission all about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction, so many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. Put native trees and flowers in it. Bees, Bees and, and butterflies, butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. It's our one and only planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places by over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it. I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it, which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. 
Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference. 